For more than three decades, indie rock band Modest Mouse have captivated listeners with their thought-provoking lyrics. The songwriting of frontman Isaac Brock delves into themes of loneliness, alienation, and the human search for meaning. To this day, Modest Mouse continue to show how music and philosophy can blend together in astonishing ways. The songs have helped millions to feel less alone in facing life's darker aspects and ultimately become better people for it. Born in 1975, Isaac was raised in a fundamentalist Christian family that viewed the contents of the Bible as being factually true. However, Isaac did not accept this premise. As a teenager, he began to challenge these religious beliefs, and he channeled the uneasiness he felt into his songs. Along with writing, Isaac mastered multiple instruments, and in 1993, the 18-year-old Isaac Brock formed Modest Mouse, with Eric Judy and Jeremiah Green. It would take the band less than three years to get signed to a label. From this position, they launched their debut studio album, titled This Is A Long Drive For Someone With Nothing To Think About. The album explored Isaac's feelings of not belonging in the world around him. Many of the songs refer to his dissatisfaction with the town where he lived and the mundane jobs he found himself in. Finally, Isaac briefly touches on the unease he felt about creeping urbanization. Urbanization would be the core theme of the follow-up album, The Lonesome Crowded West, which was released only a year later in 1997. The lyrics in the album are a personal revolt against the rapidly changing landscape of the American West. Isaac expresses his frustration about nature spots being turned into entertainment venues, offices and shopping malls. The opening track of the album features the prescient line, The malls are the soon-to-be ghost towns. Written over 25 years ago, this statement turned out to be true. In the past decade, many malls have gone bankrupt due to the rapid rise of online shopping, with the situation worsening following recent global issues, causing the number of so-called dead malls to increase even further. After listening to the lonesome crowded West, listeners are left with a rather pessimistic view of the world. How does one deal with a world in which we feel more and more disconnected? Isaac explores that question in The Moon and Antarctica, an album released three years later. This is considered by many to be the most philosophically charged Modest Mouse album to date. By this point, the band had matured, and more optimistic themes shine through in Isaac's lyrics. Those of Life Like Weeds are a great example of Isaac's newfound way of songwriting. In this Life Like Weeds, you're just a rock to me. The song starts with the narrator comparing his life to that of weeds, which often encounter obstacles like rocks that impede their growth. In our own life, these obstacles can come in the form of other people. Arguments can cause us to feel resentment towards one another, even when we care for each other. In the second verse, the narrator regrets treating other people as obstacles, stating, I could have told you all that I love you. He regrets that he wasted time arguing with the people he cared about instead of recognising their worth. Worst of all, these people may no longer be present in his life. All this talking all the time. The air fills up until there is nothing left to breathe. As the song comes to an end, the narrator realises love isn't always best expressed by words. Perhaps the excessive communication in his relationships is only making things worse. In these lines, there is a realization that sometimes it is better to stop talking and let actions speak for themselves. In addition to their lyrics, Modest Mouse are known for their thought-provoking album covers. On the cover of their 2004 album, Good News for People Who Love Bad News, we can see the faint shadow of a hummingbird. The arrows, already shot, have caused nectar to drip down, which the hummingbird begins to drink. In doing so, the bird is blissfully ignorant of the danger that a newly fired arrow might kill it. The image can be interpreted as a metaphor for the blind pursuit of happiness. In today's society, people have become so focused on finding happiness that they forget to be present and appreciate life for what it is. The arrows can be seen as a representation of the finite nature of life and a reminder that time is limited. The cover of their 2015 album, Strangers to Ourselves, features a satellite image of a resort with hundreds of perfectly ordered homes. 
this being a metaphor for Isaac's continuing concern with urbanization. The image creates a sense of alienation, and could also refer to the way in which, in today's society, uniqueness is sacrificed for conformity. The title track, Strangers to Ourselves, sets the tone of the album with the opening lines, We are lucky that we slept. Didn't seem like we realised we'd be stuck in traffic. The first line may point out the thousands of years that have gone before us, but out of any moment in time we could have been born, we were born in either the late 20th or early 21st century. This fact alone means we've got greater freedom and technology and a better quality of life than at any point in time. Despite this, more and more people are starting to feel like life is just a pointless experience, much like being stuck in traffic is. The song continues with the line, How lucky we are that we are so easy to forget, alluding to the bittersweet sadness of the fact that every person, every deed, and every achievement will eventually be forgotten. These existential thoughts can leave one feeling alienated, or indeed, a stranger to oneself. In many ways, the follow-up 2021 album, The Golden Casket, could be viewed as a direct response to the issues laid down in Strangers to Ourselves. The somber line, We're lucky we are so easy to forget, has been restated into the titles We're lucky and We are between. These two songs set the core theme for the most optimistic Modest Mouse album to date. The Golden Casket is a contemplation of today's fast-paced society, where we are told to consume more, be more successful, and fit in with the crowd. Throughout the album, Isaac's lyrics invite listeners to think for themselves, slow down, and be present. To be grateful for being alive, between the seas and the stars, between order and chaos, between birth and death. Even though we will never quite know the true reason we're put on this earth, appreciating life and the relationships we have is perhaps all we can do. This sentiment is beautifully captured in the closing lines of the song, Wooden Soldiers. You just being here, being you, is enough for me. Even death just may not be. We'll cross that bridge sometime and see. Just being here now is enough for me. <laughs>